Hello everybody. We're here at the Laurel Highlands parking area and we're gonna do a short overnight backpacking trip into the Route 30 shelter area. That's a very short hike in. We're gonna drop our packs there and then we're gonna do some hiking from there. We're gonna keep hiking north for, I don't know how long, um, we'll come back, make some supper and enjoy the rest of the evening at the shelter by the fire. We are heading north, filling out our registration so the DCNR knows who's here and where we're at. Coming up, this is where we cross over Route 30, head down the steps, and cross to the other side. What's it say? It's your lucky day. Enjoy. Here, hold it up. <laughs> Super cool. <gasps> so you can see that the snow on the path has melted. But last night, if you would have been on the trail or stayed here, you would have got about one to two inches of fresh snow. But the temperature today is in the 40s, so a lot of it's starting to melt away. Should not have any precipitation tonight, so we should have a nice night at the shelter. What? So coming up on the shelter area, nice quick hike into it. Now the shelters are about a tenth, I'd say about a tenth of a mile down this connector trail. So we'll go drop our stuff off and we're going to come back on the trail and keep hiking north from here. So heading down to our shelter, we're at shelter number five here at the Route 30 shelter area. Almost slid on the snow, snow right there. Caught myself. We're going to head down here, drop our stuff, get some self situated, grab some wood and then head back out on the trail. When the when we walked in the shelter, the fire was already going. So all we need to do is put another piece of wood on it and get it really going. Yeah. And now it's really warm. Yeah. So I think we're going to either go get our stuff up, set up, and then we'll get back to you. It wasn't wet, I stand up. Real quick look around the Route 30 area. There's the privies. Cabin 5's down there, that's where we're at. And a new addition. A wood cabin. Oh, the woodshed. Just walking up the connector trail. And somebody bit. must be in the same mood we are. How can you not be happy out on the trail? <coughs> so coming north from the shelter area here, we have done nothing but go downhill right now. So glad we hiked in the other way, because hiking with our full packs, and trust us, we overpacked for this one night short trip into the shelter but it would have made us really huff and puff till we got up to the top in fact coming back we'll still probably end up huffing and puffing till we get up to the very top is it slippery Cool. So if you're staying at the Route 30 shelter area and you don't want to pump the pump or it's not working, you can get fresh water here at this stream, but it is, it's about a quarter of a mile from the trail where it connects to the um, shelter area, but it's going to be a nice downhill walk to the water. But then you got some switchbacks up to the connector trail again. Coming back from a short walk uh, north of the shelter area and first thing we're going to do is we're going to get some wood from the shed and make a nice pile so we have it for the night. Then once we get the fire going um, we'll get our bags unpacked, get everything laid out. We have camp chairs that we brought so we'll get them set up. Then Probably start working on getting some supper.
That's fine. So coming into the shelter area, straight ahead, right there, are the privies. Down here you've got shelter four. Up here you've got shelters one, two, and three. And beyond the privies is where we're staying. And that's shelter number five. We chose that shelter because our dog, he gets super excited if he sees anybody. He's not a mean dog. He just loves people that much that he would just be so excited. And cabin or shelter five is down over the hill. It's a little more secluded. So we thought that might be the best for him. He can, he's kind of hidden away back there. Although he did meet some people earlier on the trail and he just loved them. So these are new additions here to the shelter areas. I'm not sure how many of them have it, but at Route 30, it's a relatively new addition. Nice way to keep the wood dry. So we're going to grab a handful each, take it back so that we have a supply for the night. You're done. Starting to get our stuff unpacked. We're going to get the mats, sleeping stuff. We're going to get the camp chairs out. That's what you want, right, Kaylee? So, camp set up. Just gonna make another run up here and get one more arm full of firewood. Gonna make sure we have enough to keep that fire going all night. The low should be around 30 degrees tonight, so we wanna keep it as warm as we can. Um, my sleeping bag goes down to 30 degrees, so I'm hoping in the shelter with the fire, it's more like 45 degrees in there, but it should keep it nice and toasty. We uh. We put tarps up around the side to help keep some of the warmth in as well. So Danielle and Kaylee just kind of chilling, doing some puzzles in their puzzle book, coloring. So they're just gonna chill and entertain themselves that way while I finish up some of these camp chores. All right, let's get a good video for this. What do you have in there? Mashed potatoes. How do they taste? They're better than the last time I had them. But the last time there was vegetables in there. It was cauliflower mashed potatoes, that's why. This time they're just plain. So my supper tonight is going to be Mountain House lasagna. We've had this before. It's pretty good. Especially on a cold day, it's going to feel nice to get some warm food in. So I finished Michael? Kaylee's mashed potatoes and it was pretty good to get that warm food in here. So we packed in a special treat for Kaylee today. Kaylee, what are you going to be making? A s'more. A s'more. With chocolate, marshmallows, and well, regular marshmallows, and honey nut graham crackers, in case you were wondering. Burn it. I'm watching it. Okay. Look, I can turn it. What you got now? My s'more. Is it all finished? Yes. Let's see. Take a bite. Good? No. So we're just hanging out here. Already ate supper, ate some s'mores. Now we're just enjoying a warm beverage so that we can... So he's drinking coffee and I'm drinking hot cocoa that I'm sharing with my mom. And we might play some games and we might have some more s'mores. So, sounds like a, night. Sounds like a plan for the night. Yeah, this sounds fun. I slid down the branch today, didn't I? Good morning. Just kind of waiting for the sun to rise here before we head back. I'm going to get home a little early today, but we have an excellent view. I know the video, you can't really tell, but the sky is gorgeous. It has pink in it, but we're going to wait until the sun rises and then we're going to head home. 